Okay, we are going to discuss about managing addresses on the nonprofit success pack. So, how can we manage addresses? We have the address management features. Here's the key points. Multiple addresses for a household such as seasonal addresses. So it supports that. Automatic update of addresses on all contact records in a household when the household address changes. Address override for a single contact in a household for example, if that contact wants to receive mailings at a different address than the household, support address verification service, address history, um, related list. So let's dive into our sandbox to show you what it means. So we have this account, Doug Sally Summer and Family Household, right? And on this account, we do not have an address yet, right? I think, see, the billing address is blank. Now, as you can see, if I go to each related contacts here, Doug, for example, same thing with Doug, Doug doesn't have an address because the account or the household doesn't have an address. So, if I update the address on the household, on the account here, it will also update Doug's address automatically. So let's do a fake address here. I wanna hit edit and I'm gonna say 777 fake street, um, fake city, BC, V1M0B5 because this is Canada. I'm going to save. So this is saving the account. And as you can see, as we save the account address, the individual contact addresses will be saved as well or will be updated as well. So the account address is now 777 Fake Street. Now if I go to Doug, um, if I go to Doug here, Doug Summer, see the address for Doug is also there, right? So now if say Doug lives in, um, in a basement, right? Or let's say Doug move out, not live in a basement. Uh, Doug move out to a different address, all right? So we want to have Doug um, his own address, but he is still part of the main account household. Okay, so he's just moving out, but he has a different address. But we can't change it here. Because if we change it here, say if I change to 555 Fake Street, right, and I hit save, now it's 555 Fake Street. And if I go to the um, account, right? Where's the account again here? Now, it also changed 555 Fake Street because everybody is linked together. Well, that's not right because Doug is living on 555 Fake Street, not everybody else. So to do that, let's fix this first. Everybody is still at 77 fake street but we want to change doug's address to maybe 77 fake street at the basement level right doug lives in a basement so if i go back to the contact and go to doug you have to check the box um, allow override so i hope it's available here override Okay, I don't think we have that on this page layout. So I'm going to actually add this override field onto here so we can check the box. So this is a good practice. Let's change this together. I'm going to edit this page. And I'm going to change the 
page layout that we are using right now, which is general contact layout here. And I'm going to find the override field that is being discussed over here. Let me show you um, on the contact. Now, if you want to override, you have to add address override. This is what we are about to do, okay? So now if I search for override here, address override field, all right, let's brought, uh, bring those to the address here. So I am going to bring here to the top address override and save this. Now Doug can live in the basement without changing the whole, the whole household. Okay, so we are done with that. I'm going to close that and just go back here. Okay, so now we can see the address override checkbox here. So if we want to change the address just for Doug, you have to check this box. Okay. And now you can add basement level. So now just for Doug, it will have basement level. It will not change the whole account address. Just the contact Doug have basement level. Now if I go back to the account, the household address, see it keeps the whole address intact, but just Doug it have the basement level. So that's how you can override addresses for contacts within the household. Make sure that box is checked so you you can override it. All right, what else can we discuss about the man the managing addresses here? So whenever you change an address, right? Whenever you change an address, it will track the changes for you. It will create a new address record. Let's talk about that. So for example, the household now moves, right? It moves to a different um, address. I can also edit it from here. It's now moving to 123 Fake Street and they move to Alberta. Okay, Fake City number two. Now, if they move, a new address record is created. So you can track address changes for accounts, which is a pretty neat feature, right? It doesn't just update the address and then you don't know where they were moving from. So let me show you. So now they're moving to 123 Fake Street, Fake City through Alberta. And I'm going to save that. Right? Now, on the address here, you can see 123 Fake Street, but then on the related, we have addresses. See, all the changes of addresses is recorded in the history from 77 Fake Street to 555 Fake Street to 77 Fake Street to 123 Fake Street. It's all tracked on the addresses related list there, which is a really neat feature. So you can track how people move from one address to another and pinpoint uh, who are these people, um, if there are multiple family names that are similar, right? And they move or you can track it. Oh, this is the one that's moving from this location to the new location. So that is how address management works. You can also uh, test by creating a new contact record. So this is the flow, right? If you create a new contact record first, NPSP automatically creates a household account for the contact. We've talked about that before, right? On the previous video. And then address management copies the mailing address you entered for the contact to the household account billing address, right? So the con the address from the contact is being copied to the account billing address. So address management functionality creates an address record attached to the household account, the address record here, right? The fourth step, 
The primary address type selected on the new contact is copied to the address type on the address record. If you leave the primary address type blank, it defaults to home. The last step, the new address record is automatically set as the default address. So that what, that's what happens. So if you add a new contact to an existing household, it will update it. Okay. So let's talk about this. When a family moves, not only does the household address needs to be updated, but also the mailing address for each contact in the household. Address management automates this process for you by syncing the new address between the household and each of the related contact. We've seen, we've seen that before, just now, right? So if we update this household address, all the contacts that associated with it also gets updated except for Doug because Doug has an override checkbox, right? He's still in the fake street because he has an address override checkbox there. So that's why. But if we go to another one, oh, let's go back to the account. And let's go to Sally. Sally will have the new one to the one two three fake street address to alberta because the main household account address is updated all right so we can also do uh, verify addresses if you want to use an api plugin you can read about that so it verifies addresses as you enter in you can use google api uh, and smart streets api all right so this is address verification. So as you enter the address, it will be verified and it will prompt you to fix the address if it's not entered correctly. So you enter the Google Geocoding API, the authentication token and save it. And then you can verify the addresses and you can also verify all existing addresses on your org. Okay, so that's basically it for addresses. So key points. Um, all address changes is tracked on the related address addresses um, list here. So all the changes of addresses is being tracked. So you can view it nicely. And then whenever you add a contact or whenever you add a contact, the contact will have the address of the existing household. Did I, uh, let's do that. So let's make a new contact name Maggie. Maggie Summer. Next. This is a brand new contact. I'm just going to name it Maggie Summer. Right? And I, I leave everything blank. But it will have the same address for Maggie as the account address. Because it's linked to that account. So this is Maggie now. If I go to Maggie Summer, it will already have the address of the account, which is 123 Fake Street. So... Same thing, if you, if you update any of the account's address, it will update everybody's address in the same household, including the account, unless the contact has that override checkbox, then it will keep what, whatever in that, in that, in that um, own person's mailing address. All right, that's basically it. Let's do the quiz together. What is pre-configured for address management in NPSP? Support multiple address for organization accounts. Automatic updates to addresses on all contact records in a household. Yeah, this is good. Automatic update. Automatic updates to addresses on all contact records in a household when the household address changes. This is the one. This is not turned on automatically. You have to turn it on, right? It's not pre-configured. You have to change the settings. How can you verify addresses as you enter them in NPSP? Well, you have to have the API, right? We just talked about. So you have to use one of three address verification API. That's all for managing addresses on nonprofit success pack. I'll see you on the next video. All right, let's get the points. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds. 
and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.